Welcome back, everybody. We are continuing King's Quest Seven with Chapter Two, A Troll Is As A Troll Does. Uh, in the last video, we played through the first chapter with Queen Valenice, who we have never got to control in any of the games so far. So that was the first time we got to use her as a character. In this one, we are going to be controlling Princess Rosella, who we had in King's Quest Four. Not a whole lot happened in the first chapter, but there is going to be quite a bit happening in this chapter, so. How many young men do you know whose hobby is conjugating Latin verbs? And you know, you should consider yourself lucky. Every princess in the known world is just dying to marry Prince Throckmorton. You really must strike while the iron is hot, Rosella. That's why I've... Well, I've invited the prince to... Rosella! guys are excited. We have a little cutscene at the beginning here. Welcome, most beautiful of princesses! <gasps> hmm? <gasps> who... who are you, sir? I, uh, I am King Otar Fenris III, ruler of the Volcanics Underground, and you are the Princess Rosella, yes? I am, Your Majesty. How do you know me? Where am I? I saw a beautiful castle before. Where could I find it, please? Castle? Oh, that. It's a dull place. You wouldn't like it. Oh my, I wasn't expecting this. Your Majesty, what weren't you expecting? What's going on? I wasn't expecting you to be so lovely, my lady. You will be the most radiant bride in all the world. Bride? See here, King Otar, I'm, I'm, I'm very honored and all, but I can't marry you. I, I don't even know you. Now, <clears throat> if you'll excuse me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a... A troll, dear lady. A troll? Oh! Please don't be sad, princess. You make a lovely troll. A simply stunning troll. I'm a troll? How can I be a troll? I'm not a troll, am I? Come along, princess. Let me escort you to your chamber. Perhaps you'll feel better if you rest. A troll? Troll, huh? A troll? I can't believe I'm a troll! And not just any troll. Oh no, I'm engaged to the Troll King! How lucky can a girl get? Let me look around the room a bit. Ew! 
That's enough to give our castle decorator a case of the vapors. All right, so there's not a whole lot to do in here. And uh, so let's, let's go out and explore. We don't want to be stuck in a bedroom all this time. Got this new area to explore. Who are you, Missy? You're no real troll. I can see right through you. What do you want with King Otar, you human minx? I, I don't want anything. I was just looking into this pool, and, and then I saw this... Baloney, little girl. You're trying to steal the throne of the underground. Usurper, usurper! <laughs> <laughs> Why, you're no usurper, you poor little thing. Don't cry. I didn't mean to be cross. It's just that King Otar has been so strange lately, and that a horrible woman has been snooping around. I'm not crying. Of course you're not, dear. Now you listen to me. I can help you turn back into a human. You can? Are you an enchantress? Well, not exactly. I'm Matilda, and I used to be King Otar's nursemaid when he was just a wee troll. Anyway, I can give you a list of ingredients for a magic potion that will turn you back into a human just like that. But you have to do something for me. Anything. Up above this kingdom is a dark land called Ooga Booga. Our kingdoms were never crazy about each other. But we had a civil relationship. Now, because of her, the Ooga Boogaites attack any troll that shows a face above ground. Missy, once you're human, you will go above and investigate. I have a gut feeling that our kingdom is in terrible trouble. Of course I will, Matilda. Wonderful! Now listen, girl, bring me some baked beetles, a crystal dragon scale, water of emeralds, a silver spoon, and a gold bow. Got it? Got it. Stupid old toy rat! This is not what I wanted! I wanted a battle axe! Bike! Time for lunch! Don't forget your new toy! Dumb, stupid rat! Okay. Well, she doesn't want the rat. We'll take it. Oh my god, it looks so cute. That's adorable. What's that? A shield? Oh, it might come in handy. And we got the spike. Shield spike. Can't look at the mirror. Can't even talk to Matilda again. Let's go up here. See what's up here. Just a touch of frog lips, a dash of mouse noses, a sprinkling of spider legs. <laughs> you are so wonderful. You are the most beautiful skew in the world. All you need is... A juicy bat, or a tender rat! Oh, 
I'm sorry, I didn't mean any... Out, out, out of my kitchen, you dreadful peasant! No! Stop! Don't worry, my little stew. You're safe from that dreadful girl. Her peasant lips will never touch you. Uh. Revolting beast! Jeez, oh God, you nearly got yourself fried. Oh, I'm not scared of that nasty wench. I could break her in half like a carrot. Well, that's good, because she's right behind you. <laughs> that was not funny, Bulgar. Hmm, maybe we can talk to these guys. Pardon me, sirs, but who was that tall, imposing woman? Uh, her name is Malicia, and uh, to tell you the truth, lady, uh, no one really knows who she is. I know who she is. She's a fiend, that's who. Shut your mouth, Hogarth. You don't know nothing. Some trolls say Malicia is an evil fairy cast out of Etheria up there in the clouds. All I know is she never used to hang around here, and now she does all the time. We'd like to tell you more, pretty lady, but we better not. Can we try one more time? Is there anything more you could tell me about Malicia? Uh, uh no, lady, uh, sorry. No, no way. Yeah, troll soup. Yeah. Well, we did meet that uh, chef, that crazy chef before. Um, so maybe if we're quiet this time, we do have a rat. And he said he mentioned he needed, he wanted a rat or a bat for his stew. So maybe we can trick him. need for my stew. Come here, you little tidbit. Oh, where'd he go? So let's look around the kitchen a bit. They could cook a moose in there. <laughs> Gosh, they probably are. We got a gold bowl. We needed that for the recipe. Now there's also another bowl up here, but it's not gold. I always get the wrong one first, but I'm surprised this time I didn't. Nice. What's this?
baked beetles. That was another thing we needed on the recipe. We're doing pretty good. What? That's enough to give a person nightmares. I'm not letting him out. No way. Anything else to look at? No, I guess not. So we already got two things we needed. The other th things we needed was uh, a silver spoon, was it? And water of emerald? That was all that we needed, right? Huh, well, let's go over here. By the way, some scenes she's gonna walk really fast, some scenes- oh wait, no. Let's not go there yet. Let's go in here. You know, Winnie, I've had so much trouble sleeping lately. Blotar snores like a dragon with heartburn. Well, let me tell you, Eglatine. I have the same problem with Hogarth. I just use wet sulfur. I put a lump of wet sulfur in the fireplace at night and it puts me right out. Why I sleep so soundly, Hogarth sometimes has to wake me with a flower under the nose. <laughs> Flower! Eee! You must have been sleeping like a log if you needed a nasty, smelly flower to wake you up. Well, well, well. You learn something new every day. Excuse me, good ladies, but, but would you happen to know anything about Malisha? Oh! Look, Winnie! It's the king's new bride-to-be! Isn't she the cutest little thing? Oh, my dear! You're the luckiest troll in the world! Oh, it's going to be the most beautiful wedding! And won't you be the most beautiful bride? Oh, I always cry at weddings. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies? Weddings always make me cry. <laughs> oh, 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 good lord. Oh, oh, oh. oh never mind. <laughs> They're not going to be as much help, although they did help us with one thing that will come in handy. Talk to this guy. Pardon me, sir, but I was wondering. Well, wonder no longer, sweet potato. I am the troll of your dreams. Now see here, I'm I'm uh, I'm engaged to the king. That's right, the king. Oh well, I respect King Ota. You you can bet on that. Uh, I'm sorry, my little rutabaga, but our love is not to be. You let me know if he dumps you, okay? Yeah. Well, let's talk to this troll over here. See if it's any better. Excuse me. I didn't mean to startle you, sir. I am Rosella of Daventry. Oh, that's all right. I don't mind being interrupted by someone as charming as yourself. What can I do for you? Why, you're the most polite troll I've ever met. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Don't apologize, my dear. I quite understand. I can't tolerate the company of most other trolls myself. Oppie Goldsworth, Master Jeweler, at your service. You don't like other trolls? You must be so lonely, Oppie. Oh, I am, Rosella. To tell you the truth, I'd do anything to leave this place. I'd love to go out and make my way in the world. Maybe I'd even become the court jeweler of Etheria. 
Why don't you? I don't have the money. All I have to my name is this old chipped hammer and chisel. Pardon me, my dear, but I really must finish this project. Okay, well, he's a really nice guy. Maybe there's a way we can help him out. Ugh! Ooh, it smells like rotten eggs in here. Ugh! What's this? Green water? Or water of emerald? Bowl with green water. Well, what do we just get? A lantern. Well, we know adventure games. Lanterns are always special. And well needed. Wow! What an updraft! Sulfur. Wet sulfur. Now, didn't we just hear a story about wet sulfur and being put on the fireplace to knock someone out? What's that? Can you point at this box, by the way? That little goyle is a mold for casting thing. I poured hot silver in there, see? And when it cools, I have a spoon. Ah, well we needed a... a spoon. But I'm sure we won't be able to get it from him. Let's see if we can grab the tools to get it. May I just borrow these tongs for a few minutes, sir? I just can't let you do that, Sugar Lips. How about a smooch instead? No thanks. <laughs> Your last cookie nose. Cookie nose. Oh darn. I let it get too cold. Oh, there we go. Let's light the lantern. Lantern with a spark. What's that, Mama? Time for bed? Okay. Nighty night. So we knocked him out. Good night, Mama. Good night, you big goon. He's sucking his thumb. Okay, I don't That's think... way too hot to touch. Yeah. So she's smart enough to know that. And we can't put the tongs in here or look at them, so... Can we look at them now? No. We really are just borrowing them. Mm. 
Yes! And before we can look at the spoon, we have to put the tongs back. Let's check out our new spoon. It's so pretty. Nice silver spoon. Okay, so there's one more thing I forgot to mention earlier that we forgot to get, and that is the crystal dragon scale. So let's go get that, and then we'll be ready. Come no further! Good day, sir. I am... Well, I don't care who you are. This is my bridge, and I will only let you cross it uh, if you give me a thousand pieces of lead and a rat on a stick. Yeah, right. Can't talk to him anymore. Can we pass him? That troll won't be reasoned with. I think something else is in order. Yes, I think so. Let's check out what's up here. She said something there that was cut out or what? That looks like a wagon. We can ride or we can exit. I don't think we can ride it, it doesn't have a wheel. But uh, we got the bowl, we can't use the bowl cork because we've got the green water, we don't want to lose that. But what about the shield? And uh, just to save us from dying again, um, stick the spike in. I'll just make sure that shield doesn't go anywhere. There. Now it looks like it's ready to ride. Let's do it. Okay, we can continue on. See what's on the other side of this bridge. <sighs> this is one of my favorite parts coming up here. <sighs> I used to love it so much as a kid, and I still do now. <sighs> one of my favorite characters of the game. This is just <sighs> such a beautiful part. Are... are you a dragon? I am. Do not fear me, little troll. You are the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Thank you. You are most kind. Once that would have made me smile. Now I know I will never be happy again. What has made you so sad? I have lost my will to live. I have lost my spark. <sighs> what did you mean when you said you'd lost your will to live? Why? I meant just what I said. I have lost my spark. My world has grown cold. Leave me to my sorrow, little troll. Oh. 
I don't think there are that many jewels Whoa. in all of Daventry. Okay. Whoa. This poor dragon. We have a lantern that's lit with a spark. So I'm not sure if this will help, but let's try. Um, this doesn't happen to be the kind of spark you meant, does it? A spark! Bless you, little troll! Here, let me have it! I am indebted to you. Here, take this diamond. With it, you can live like a princess. Thank you. It's, it's beautiful, but what I'd really like is one of your scales? Yes, yes, little one, whatever you want, but I can wait no longer to fly. I will give you a scale when I return. So let's look at the ruby that we got. Big gem. Now, of course, we are a princess already, so we don't really need this big gem. But we sort of know somebody who needs some money, so why don't we see if they want it? This is a weird glitch in the game. If you just click over here, she'll just walk right across and head right there. And if it wasn't such a slow scene, I would totally go the normal way. But uh, it's slow. This one's fast. We walk pretty fast here. So he's still sleeping. Do anything with him. Night, Mama. Good night, you big goon. Oh, he just does the same thing. Okay. Well, this guy over here said he needed money because he wanted to get a new job and head out in his world and head out in the world. So let's give him the gem. Maybe he'd like it more than we would. Poppy, I have something I'd like to give you. Oh my my, it's perfect. It's beautiful. How can I ever thank you? I'm forever in your debt. Oh, I'm going to throw out this horrible hammer and chisel and get the best set money can buy. If you don't want it, may I have it, Oppy? Of course, of course. Enjoy them, my dear. Thank you so much. Goodbye, Rosella. There we go. So we helped him out and we got ourselves a hammer and chisel. Perfect. I hope my voice isn't too loud. I'm recording both chapter one and chapter two on the same day, so I won't know until after, but if it is too loud, I might change things a bit for chapter 3 and 4 and 5 and 6. 
We're actually getting close to the end of this chapter, if you look. It says it's about halfway, but eh, I feel like we're a little bit over halfway. After all, we're about to become human again. All we need is a crystal dragon scale. Instead of sighing, we hear snores this time, so... Must have come back from his flight. Hello? Madam Dragon? Wake up! I guess it's a she. Why not? I don't think there are that many jewels in all of Daventry. Rats. I'll never get a scale with just my bare hands. Too tough. Okay, I want to see if you can get this one death scene because for some reason my version of the game stops here. In the original it used to, the tail would go up on the jewels and then come down and then go up and come down and if the tail was up and you went to try and get the scale, it would come down and crush you. I don't know if it was because of the look, uh, maybe not. Yeah, we can't get that death in this version. For some reason. Dragon scale. And also the snoring stops too when you're over here. I don't know if it works in the DOS version. I'm using the Windows version on Scum VM, so... Again, if I could find my original... CD that would be fantastic. I feel like I might have lost it when I was moving because it's one of the CDs of course I'm gonna take with me even if I couldn't play it at the time but uh, yeah I think I ended up losing it. Hopefully I didn't. And we'll walk right across again. So we are ready to turn back into a human. We got the water emerald, the baked beetles, crystal dragon skill, and a silver spoon. And a gold bowl. So let's give them to Matilda. Mm-hmm. Good. Now give me the rest of the ingredients. Yes! Yes! <laughs> just fine, just dandy. There we go. Excellent! All right then, girly, take a drink. Did it work? Well, not exactly, dear. Now, what did I do wrong? Aha! Uh -huh. I remember. We need a troll hair. Ow! There we go! The silver spoon melted, and I thought Mother's tea was strong. I suppose I should keep it as a memento. Mom. 
My dear Princess Rosella, I'm stunned. Your beauty is only surpassed by your intelligence, in your courage, and your joie de vivre. You! I've had just about enough of you distracting the king, you little snip! Now look here, lady! No! Look here! Malicia! No! There. You just be patient, girl. I'll be in to take care of you before you know it. <laughs> That's what you think. Rats. Can I look at the bag? Can we look at the mirror? Now that we're ourselves again. Whew! That's better. Now I've got to get out of here. Come on, Rosella, think! Something weird's going on with this painting up here. Let's look. Oh, that's odd. Where's that smoke coming from? Get up to it. No, it's not tall enough yet. I think this is the order. I could be wrong. We'll find out shortly. Yep, it's the right order. My, my Lady Malicia, I wasn't expecting you! And who were you expecting, you pathetic wretch? Your precious princess? Listen to me, you pudding-brained puppet. If you and your obsession with that pale-skinned, meddlesome princess manage to disrupt my plans, I'll have you filleted. Have you learned to work the volcano mechanism yet? Well, yes, I, th I think so, but Lady Malicia, is it really necessary? Will the realm of Eldritch be hard, my lady? The Bountiful Woods are right below Etheria, and the land of Ooga Booga below that. Oh, a village here, a township there, who's going to miss them? Even if all of Eldritch is covered in slag, at least the blight of Etheria will be gone. Oh. <laughs> I just don't know what's right, what's real. If only I could remember. Oh no, she can't, she just can't. <laughs> what is this little thing? A dragon toad. Ah, huh. interesting. Now we walk much faster. Oh, he's awake. Let's talk to him. When he finishes his thing. Mm, hello. How are you feeling? Why, I feel just dandy. Oh my! You are the strangest looking troll goyle I've ever seen. But as a kindness to you, I will take you out after my shift is over. No, thank you. I don't think my little heart could stand the strain. Ew. 
It reminds me of, uh, like in Day of the Tentacle, when you become, like before you dress up as a tentacle, you, uh, everyone's all like, oh, you're so ugly and everything, and then when you become a tentacle, it's like, oh, you're so beautiful, you know? Hi, I'm La- Ooh-wee, you are one ugly human. Excuse me? Man, I'm not kidding. You are just about the homeliest homo sapien I've ever seen. Thank you, fellow tentacle. Unlike humans, you have been very useful. Oh, uh, thank you. Believe me, it was my pleasure. Now all I need is a human. Yowza! That was one good-looking tentacle. Excuse me, Mr. Troll? Hello, sir. <laughs> Don't you hurt him. Don't you dare hurt him. Stay out of it, old woman, or you'll regret the day you were born. There's something wrong with him. What have you done to him, witch? You really don't want to know, Ancient One. Your old nerves couldn't take it. Suffice it to say that it's a lot nicer than what I plan to do to you. You don't scare me, you cold-blooded beanstalk, you flinty-eyed lizard! Matilda, I know you're concerned for the king, but maybe you shouldn't bait Malicia like you did. She's fully capable of hurting you. Don't I know it, child? But I can't help myself. I'd do anything to find out what she's done to my Otar. Anything. Maybe she knows what this dragon toad thing is. Matilda? What is this funny little thing? Otar's Dragon Toad! This was King Otar's when he was just a wee lad. It's a magical guardian. When little Otar would take it with him to play, it would watch over him and get him out of trouble. If he really got into a scrape, it would run home and tell me where he was. It doesn't look very lively now, Matilda. Yes, it's been dormant for years. Let me see now. It's working! Dragon Toad, tell me now! Where is King Otar, and what's he doing? Oh, His Majesty the King is imprisoned, far away, in the land of the uh, Booga Booga. That means the king who's been in cahoots with Malicia is an imposter! I knew it! Matilda, I overheard the king, or, or whoever he is, and Malicia talking. It sounded like she intends to cause a volcano to erupt. Canix Underground is nothing but one big volcano. We trolls have been the keepers of the volcano for a hundred generations. If Malicia ignites it, the entire realm of Eldridge will blow up. Rosella, we must find the real King Otar. He's the only one with the knowledge to shut down the volcano. Here, take this magic rope. Use this rope with the elevator to Ooga Booga. Find the real king of the trolls. Go now. It may already be too late. Where is that little snip of a princess? When I find her, I'll... <laughs> Oh! 
flea-bitten, mange-ridden, nasty, smelly vermin. Someday I'll come up with a way to cause every bat, rat, and snake in the world to explode at once! Okay, so let's get out of here. Try to escape, will she? Well, just let her try. Uh-oh. Now that last scene gave a hint, and she doesn't like rats, so here we go. <laughs> I hate that we can't pick it up anymore because it's behind this thing. <laughs> this pillar. Okay. So we got an enchanted rope right now, which we're about to use, but we also got the silver spoon that melted. Silver pellet. Just so you guys know. We're about to head into the next chapter. I know it shows that much further away, but we're really on the last screen with one more thing to do, so... Or two more things, I guess. Two more clicks. One more now, because I already did one click. Use the magic rope, and we're gonna get out of this land and into a new land. Well, we'll have to find out in uh, two videos from now, because next week we are going to be going back to Queen Valenice to continue her story. As we last left off, she was leaving the desert, so we will be continuing that next week. And we will continue with Rosella again the week after that. Again, if you watch these videos later on, the videos will already be there. So you can just go to the next video now, or if you want, you can skip ahead. Not the next video, but the video after if you want to find out more from Rosella. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying, and I will see you again next week. Bye-bye!